all right so this is how you can take something like this where I have four different no five different um, sounds of environment I guess they sound like this jungle nighttime jungle daytime a windy one some mild rain and some heavy rain with some occasional thunderclaps even that I just they actually they're playing all the time they just muted until the step is selected it's what's called a discrete parameter because uh, it discreetly changes between uh, steps it's like a stepped um, parameter and uh, the way I've set it up in unity is that I have this uh, environment SFX prefab game object that's basically just a game object uh, the cube is something different don't mind that and it has a bank loader to load the bank that uh, the event from fmod is in and you can see on the banks here that I put this environment step that's the name of the event I put it into the master bank and um, I load that on start and I unload it on destroy uh, of this game up game metric um, and always, as always, remember to load the dot strings file as well because it contains important uh, metadata. I think. Um, then I play the sound here and with a regular old FMUD Studio event emitter. It starts when I press play. It stops when I press play again and it exits play mode. And the event I've chosen is called environment stepped, um, which is the, which is this one we've seen here. So. Um, what I want to do is change the parameter in here, the one that I've named the uh, environment selector. It's a global parameter. Um, it ranges from zero to four, uh, zero included, and uh, it's a discrete parameter, as I said before. Um, and I want to change this value from Unity in runtime. How can I do that? I can do it via a nice slider here. Uh, this is a, a pretty great tool for prototyping or you could also make this value um, I think it's called making it public so that you can control it from other scripts or other places in the game and change this in runtime uh, and what it sounds like is this there's some music as well but don't mind that that just plays on its own listen for the, the rain uh, or nighttime jungle sound I think it is I can change this and it steps through the, the different sounds, the different environments uh, just like I have in here, just like doing like this in FMO. that's pretty neat, so how, how did I make it? it's a, a pretty simple script and don't mind the lines that I've commented out uh, I just haven't deleted them um, so what you gotta do is you have to make this serialized field which makes um, uh, it's all of this is the same thing. I don't quite understand what it is But the effect of writing this is that you create a slider that has the values from 0 to 4 both numbers included and uh, The tooltip thing is very handy because that's uh, when you write that before the, uh, the thing this slider I think um, um, It uh, gives you a tooltip when you hover over it and you can write in whatever you want in this box and this is really neat for description uh, so it's a serious jungle night and so forth so it describes what the different values uh, mean here um, but yeah uh, that's pretty much it so this is the thing that sets uh, the value here and then you gotta actually do it and uh, use this environment selector integer value that you set from this slider um, so the way it goes is that you set the slider to something unity uh, reads what is the value of the slider right now and you use this um, I, f I forgot what it's called, is it a function or something? no the update is a function, this is some uh, yeah I don't know what it's called but it takes um, the name of the parameter that you want to change and it has to be a global parameter I'm pretty sure um, and you have to type it in exactly the same as the name of the parameter is in fmod so for me it's environment selector it could be anything really and um, yeah then uh, you input the 
uh, value that it should set this to afterwards, like this. So this is a very simple script, uh, very uh, easy to understand and do. You can just write off the screen, pause the video and write it off if you want to. Um, and it's a pretty nifty tool, I think. Let's see it again in action. I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, that's it. That's how you do that.